So let's get started with React. What, why, and how? Let's start with the what is React question. And let me cite a phrase from the official React page. React is a JavaScript library for building user interfaces. Now that's a nice sentence, but what does it mean? The first important part is the JavaScript library part. It is a JavaScript library. It is about building JavaScript-driven apps. React apps run in the browser. They don't run on the server, they run in the browser. And that gives us a great advantage. Things happen instantly since they happen in the user's browser. We don't have to wait for a server response to get a new page or to render something new. The other important part in that sentence is the user interfaces part. User interfaces are basically what the user sees and React is all about using components for building these. If you think about it, you can split up any web page into components. Here's an example. This is just any random web page we can think of. We might have this header area, a sidebar, and then on the right some content. Now we clearly can split this up into components. We would have a header component, a sidebar component, and then a headline and an article content component. Now why is thinking like this important or useful? Because if we split up our web app, our website into such components, we can build these building blocks, these components as contained pieces of code. We don't have to build our entire web page as one bigger picture. We can build all these tiny things on their own. This of course makes working in teams easier, but even if we're working alone, it makes it easy for us to make our code manageable. If we change the headline later on, we only have to go into that component and update it, and we don't have to find that code on our entire web page code. We also can easily reuse components then. If we have a list item component and we want to output a list of these, well, list items, then we only have to write the code once and can then easily reuse it. Because, and that's important, React components can be thought of as custom HTML elements. In the end, you're just writing custom HTML elements. This is what React is about. And it therefore solves the problem of having to build complex user interfaces with what HTML and JavaScript gives you by writing maintainable, manageable, and reusable pieces of that code, which you then can throw into your web app wherever you need to use it. Let's have a look at some examples.